Oh, damn it. Oh. <laughs> Hello everybody. It has been a minute since we just sat back and chatted. I'll tell you. Wouldn't it be bad to be that guy right now hauling back the boat from the lake. That would be a good day. But we have just been all over the place. It's been a weird year, I'll say that much. Just trying to keep everything in motion in motion. And dawned on me when I was headed out the door just now that I used to film all kinds of random stuff like this. So we're going to try one of those again today. We need to prep for this week's project, which is rollover from last week's. Got the lift on site, and we need to haul back the little trailer to pick that lift up. So I'm going to my dad's grab that, and while I'm there, we're going to load up some slabs, take back down to that area from some trees that we cut down last week. So hopefully those turned out pretty cool. It was a tree that we were just going to grind up, but we thought, you know what? Let's see if something can happen out of it. So Haas was cool enough to mill those up over the weekend. And the little, I haven't even made a video on it, but we picked up a flail mower. It's supposed to be dual purpose, PTO driven, three point for possibly running a snow blower in the winter time. Haas did a bunch of front end work on that and a couple miscellaneous things and now it won't start. So we'll see what that's about when we get there. Man, it's crazy once you have kids and family and everything starts going on and just, there's never a day off. It's weird how that happens, there's no days off, which is good. But man, it is, it's a circus and you guys with families know that. to war with the chipper the other day finished the job and then a little bit extra and we had immediately pull out of there and go to the job we're on but it felt nice we actually got to pick up 90 percent of the mess here's <laughs> crime scene here at the center of it i mean we were cutting these doodads oh how the hell did we end up with an extra one I don't know. Yep. Looks like he got the mower back together. Front hubs were shot. The way the ball joints ride and stuff like that, it didn't really pan out. But he says, she no kicking. I don't know why. Got the battery still hooked up, that's not neat. Wonder what the deal is. Let's see. Yeah. Let's see if we can investigate something. From PTO. Rear PTO. That would make it. It'll start in gear. I know that. I wonder if the starter just needs to be smacked in the head. Up down, that's neat. You labeled all that stuff. What's this one? Differential lock. Huh. That thing's clicking. Yeah, she was running before. She wasn't, you know. It doesn't help that it's a, a red wire that's uh, not red. So here's the problem missing hoopty right there and the hoopty's right there and that certain hoopty no matter how many times you're going to jiggle that starter or beat on it with a hammer ain't got no juice going right to it but let's see here which one is it I might have an that. yeah that's a that's the one that literally goes straight to the starter because i thought that looked funny when the battery when the terminals were on this side i was like huh 
I didn't think they could reach that way before. There's problem. Okay. Lovely that it's black. We'll go ahead and put this guy on there and some red tape. Crimping tool here, so we just crimp the ever living Jesus out of it. This and then I donkey kick the pliers, trying to get even more out of it. <laughs> kind of an overkill of a crimper, but yeah. working with you work with. And then we need to take. This guy off. Is the right size? Oh, I didn't know that. I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of a sucker for the uh, toolkits from pretty much anywhere. I think they're freaking awesome. Yeah, look at that. I bet you they crimp that thing. Same process or with a pair of ice grips. That one's a factory kind of deal, but that one... That one seems okay. Might revisit this one right here. Over here. Put it in the crimping machine. Let's see if we can get this one to budge. Yeah, there we go. Huh? Yeah, sure, that's better than black. Oh! Got the Mondo crimping machine right here. Red grips. Does it work? Yeah, I think so. I pulled on I think it. It's a hexagon it, thing, isn't it? Yeah. Felt pretty tight. Didn't didn't budge. Some of them use oh. uh, electric motor to squeeze it. Yeah. Yeah, a guy said that if you solder it, it could heat up. Well, I've been soldering the ones for anything that I got. Yeah, I. Isn't the red truck? It's got two. Yeah. Cars number four cables. Yeah. I'm gonna fire that thing up the other day to drive it around. This thing fires right up now with that sniper on it. Does it? Yeah. Used to get eight. It'd probably get at least nine then. <laughs> this one's on the top. There's a spring in it. You see that? I don't understand that. I don't really trust that. All right, well, I'm going to hook this battery up see what happens. Uh, make sure your foot's on the clutch or whatever. So well, I was going to see if the fan it. will turn on. Felt the differential fall. Took a little over, I think, those are quirt pouches. Yep. I don't know why the fan's not coming on, though. That's a bummer. Is she on still? Got a Kubota burn in there. Yeah, 
the foot throttle working better now? Yeah, it's actually coming. You oil that? No. Really? No. Oh man, it was stiffer than a mofo before. I didn't even use a little stick up there. I just used the foot throttle because it stayed stuck down. I need that. Yes, you don't have to push all the way though. No. Isn't it supposed to stay? Not that one. No? No. That one is, yeah. Okay, anybody that was asking what happened to the mini buddy, it weighed too much. So Hoss had to go back to his old one until we find another tilt deck that provides something for non-CDL use. But let's go back here and check a look at it. There's, it's so funny the way everything's kind of transformed around here. Stuff that would have been dead center of attention back in the day for YouTube content. Some cool stuff around here. Just never, ever showing. Uh, Hoss got a pretty sweet setup for sawmill action now. Way more efficient than ever before. Just want to show it. Which is, I think that's kind of a flex in the YouTube world because everybody wants to show everything. So we need to find where to put the slabs. Ran off with them. Shoot! I hose that off so you can see it. What is that? This is uh, this is pretty cool. See this type of thing? I forget the name of it. But it, once you sand it, uh -huh. it's hard to tell the depth. It looks like it's multi-dimensional. So that's pretty cool. That I don't know what that is. This is a tar. Yeah. Remember that that piece of molten stuff that you pulled from logwoods back in the day? Now that thing got hit by lightning or whatever that was, it was on the bookshelf. It was a power line. Guy fell a tree on it. And the ends hit the ground. Ooh. And fried rock. Oh. Rock and copper. That'll do it. Well, those two over there are definitely the nicers. I wouldn't say that. You think? You just have to. It's a wider. These are four inches thick. You have to uh, put water on it. Pretty nice. It's cooler than turning it in a mulch and then saying to haul it off. Andy says it could be a eucalyptus. Ah. Because there's a bunch of different kinds. Yeah, that's what I kind of figured. Definitely not the Cousin to it is what I think. Those are okay then. Now. Made it back to the house, got extra fuel. Little tank ain't quite enough. I haven't made a decision on a tank that will fit this and have the volume that I would like. It'd be nice to, that's about 35 on the little guy. It'd be nice to run 50, maybe 60, but worry about payload. But look at this. So we're gonna give this to the property owner of the job and then uh, uncle-in-law, well technically, both uncle-in-laws but anyway this one will stay on the property and this one we're going to surprise taylor's official uncle with this one right here it's uh he doesn't even know it yet kind of told him about it but not really but he talked about getting a blackstone a bigger one for his back patio but he wanted a slab just so happened to have it job box loaded up we're ready to go <sighs> lost my hat somewhere during this mission of the night so going to go eat dinner right now barbecued chicken fried potatoes mm-hmm get her get her i think i'll probably take you guys with us tomorrow bright and early we got a decent commute but we get to stay down there so come with us we'll see you guys tomorrow like comment subscribe 5500 with the little trailer because i needed the flatbed space